and welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Preciosa heart necklace. So today, making up our Preciosa heart necklace, we're going to use the Mayuki seed beads, size eight, this beautiful heart pendant, three six millimeter jump rings, this very nice heart fastener, crimp beads, four strands of Preciosas, and our seven strand cable wire. I'll also be using some side cutters, two pairs of flat nose pliers, and a pair of brown nose pliers. Cut four lengths, about 30 centimeters, for the strands on the necklace. So I've just pre-cut these, as I say, to 30 centimeter lengths, so there's four of those. Take your first strand of cable wire and you're going to thread the crimp bead onto your wire about two and a half centimetres onto the wire. Take the end through the loop on the heart charm and then you're going to go back up, so we're doubling up, and drop your crimp bead so that both strands are in the crimp bead and we want this as close to the loop as we can. You're then going to use the flat nose pliers to crush the crimp bead securely in place. We're actually going to leave the tail on this wire as we're going to tuck that up into the beads when we start threading. So the first strand we're going to do is our Preciosa. To start this one, first add three Mayuki seed beads. As these go down the wire, we're just going to tuck them in. So that tail end's tucked into the beads. We're then going to continue with our Preciosas. These beads sit interlocking when they're threaded, which gives it a really beautiful effect. And you just want to continue threading for maybe 20 centimeters. So we've come almost to the end of the first strand. We're just going to add the last five Preciosas and another three Mayukis on the end. And then I will show you how to attach this to the jump ring. So we've got our three small seed beads here. So that's completed and we're going to put our crimp bead onto the wire and let that fall down to the beads and then we're going to go through the jump ring. And the jump ring is going to come down to the crimp bead and then we're going to th go back with the wire through the first three Mayukis and the first three Preciosas. So the jump ring's just gone through once, but we've gone through twice through these ones. We now want to pull this all in tight so we don't have any big loops of wire showing. So I'm just using my pliers to tease the wire through. So I'm just pulling this tail end and that's bringing that loop in. And then just to finish, I'm just going to gently pull that last bit by hand. And at this point, just have a quick check 
there's no spacing along your wire. Before I crush this little crimp bead, I'm just going to take this tail end off. So I'm going to work with the side cutters and I'm going to get nice and close to take that wire off. The tail end's now tucked in so there's no scratchy ends here. And with the flat nose pliers, we want to crush that crimp bead flat. And once that's crushed, it's nice and secure. That's one strand completed. I'm going to work again on this side. And this time I'm just stringing a plain strand of the Mayuki seed beads. So we take a second strand of the pre-cut cable. And as before, we're going to put the crimp bead on. You don't have to work at the very tip, so give yourself some room. We're going to go through the same loop on the heart with the wire. And then you're just going to fold back and go through the crimp bead. Take that as close down to the loop as you can and with your pliers we just want to crush that flat. Again leave that tail on there and it's just going to tuck through the seed beads. So we're just going to let them go down the wire and back up inside those as well. I'm just going to continue threading with these Mayukis. So I'm coming up to the end of the Mayuki strand. So I'm just going to place the last six on here and then I will show you how to put that onto the jump ring. So the last five Mayukis are on and we're going to do the same with the crimp bead and let that fall down to the beads, just there at the bottom. And then the same jump ring that the Preciosa strand is on, we're going to go through the side and take that back down. So go back through the jump ring and maybe the first six or seven Mayukis. So we've got our loop here, it's gone once through the jump ring and then we're just going to tease that down. Just take your pliers, put them near the crimp bead and you're just going to gently tease that loop of wire in. Okay. So that creates the strands sitting side by side. Just always have a final check that there's no wire sticking out here. And then before we crush the crimp bead, you want to use your side cutters to take that excess off. Okay. And as you'll notice now, that end is hidden inside. And just to finish, we want to crush that crimp bead flat. Onto this jump ring, I'm also going to add a second ring. This is just going to give the necklace a little bit more movement near the fastener. So to open the jump ring, hold one side with your flat nose pliers and with the split of the jump ring upwards. You then want to hold the opposite side of the jump ring with the second pair of pliers. You're going to push one away and bring one towards you. Just going to hook that on now. And then we're going to close that back the same way we opened it. So pushing one side away and bringing one towards you. And that way you get a very nice sealed jump ring. So that side's complete. I'm just going to prep the fastener for the other side. So same again with the jump ring, just to open it. 
and then onto the end of the fastener. And we close this together again. So you're gonna do exactly the same with the same length and same amount of beads on this side of the heart and then we're going to attach the strands onto this jump ring. Okay, so I've already strung the third and fourth strand on the opposite side of the heart. I'm just going to quickly show you how to attach the other side of the fastener. So take the Preciosa strand and add a crimp bead onto the wire. Let the crimp bead go all the way down to the beads. You're then going to go through the jump ring that we'd previously added onto the fastener and take the end of the wire back through the first sort of six beads until the tail's coming out the side. And then we're just going to work that loop down so we've not got a big loop of wire here. I'm just gently teasing this down towards the beads. So there's no big loop here. Just do a final check on this side to make sure the tail end hasn't popped out, which is all good. And then we're going to take that excess wire off with the side cutters. So get in nice and close. And then that end will sit inside the beads nice and neatly. Now we just want to finish by crushing that crimp bead. And that's that strand complete onto the fastener. And then for the fourth strand, so just check the ends tucked in. Crimp bead goes onto your wire and down to the beads. through the jump ring, so the same jump ring with the Preciosa strand, and then back through the crimp bead and the first six or so beads. And then we're just going to do the same again by teasing that loop of wire down. So as I'm pulling that's bringing that loop in. Final check that it's not popped out on this end. And then we cut that with the cutters. And crush the crimp bead flat. So that's the fastening on the opposite side complete. And then when you bring these together, you have finished your Preciosa heart necklace. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again for our next video. Goodbye.